The heat is on. It's been on all week. It's been on this weekend, literally and figuratively. It's close to 40 degrees Celsius as we get set now for the mixed team competition. In mixed teams, two athletes, one male, one female per country. We use the set system for recurve mixed team competition to determine the outcome. Two points for winning a set, one point for splitting. First to five points total is your winner. Now the mixed team bronze medal match to get things started here in the afternoon. And it will be number two, Italy. Number two coming out of qualifying, taking the field first. Italy with a six love win over Brazil this week, a five one win over Mexico before losing to India by the score of five to one. Gwendolina Sartori and Mauro Nespoli teaming up out here on the field of battle against Chinese Taipei, the team that qualified fourth this week. They survived a shootoff with Kazakhstan, then had a 5-1 win over Germany before losing to Korea 5-3. A loss, but that's impressive. 5-3? Five, 5-3 three. Five, three against Considering Korea. Considering the competition, 5-3 yep. is not bad, Crispin. Yeah, it's, uh, it's something that every country kind of takes pride in, especially uh, when you're able to take a set off of Korea, let alone two sets, but 5-3 means that they took a set and they tied a set at the very best. So being able to do that against the Koreans in an Olympic year at the World Cup before the Olympics is definitely a great feat. Just because I know that for a fact that it is harder to make a Korean national team than it is to win the Olympics. So <laughs> you're, you're going against their absolute cream of the crop. And to be able to do that at this stage, at this point in the year, with the conditions that we've had is truly amazing. It says a lot and speaks well of Tanya Ting and Wei Chun Heng. Tanya Ting, 22 years old, ranked third in the world, and Wei Chun Heng, 21 years old, ranked 12th in the world. These two have become a real factor in mixed team competition so far on this year's Hyundai World Cup Tour. So here we go, the mixed team bronze medal match. Italy, Chinese Taipei, and Moto Nespoli to shoot first. And that's a good, good start from our Nespoli. I'm looking at the, I had a look around the venue before we came down here, and I noticed that the field of play is in the same direction, same orientation as the practice field. So in my opinion, there probably won't be a lot of excuses for having errant arrows because literally the practice field is just off to the left of your screen. You it's can a see those slight targets. transition. It's a slight transition. There's going to be a little bit more blockage because of the stands and everything, but there's no change in sun direction. There's no change in wind. So that should be a really good factor for lots of good scoring matches. That this being afternoon. said, we've seen a couple of eights already. Yes, um, and I was watching the matches this morning and noticing that a lot of people were starting out outright and I was wondering if that was just because of the different conditions of the stands and the tribunes that are surrounding the archers. Maybe they're not feeling the wind as well as they do on the practice range that's off to the left there. And that can have a big factor. If the archer doesn't feel the wind, then they can't tell what it's doing and they have to rely on possibly their coach or their other teammate to look at the flags and tell them, hey, the wind is going, aim over on this side, and there's another right eight. So my gut feeling is that they might not be able to feel the wind on the shooting line, but the wind is probably doing the same thing downrange. Downrange. Yeah, as what it was on the practice field. So far, only one ten out of the first five shots. Gwendolina Sartori, who's having an excellent summer on the outdoor circuit, puts up a nine as the shadows start to grow here. Sartori. Coming away with a medal this morning in the women's team competition, a women's bronze medal. That's a there very excellent a shot. shot. That's the closest shot to the middle that we've seen this afternoon so far. And something to note is Tanya Ting is wearing long sleeves, long pants, long sleeves, and they're black. I don't know why they're black, because it's pretty hot out here, but some people might say, hey, they're... If they're wearing long sleeves okay. and pants, maybe it's not as hot as we think it is. But oh. you know what? <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's toasty. Above 40 degrees Celsius for people who are using the metric system. And what a lot of the archers have reverted to doing here is covering up from the sun. Just because it's a lot easier to keep yourself cooler if the sun's not directly contacting your skin. And the fabric itself can pull the moisture off the skin exactly. and actually keep you cooler. That being said, I don't know why she's wearing black, because that's actually a very hot color. 
And mm -hmm. I know that when I was shooting on the field of play, I was trying to keep my skin out of the sun because you can start to suffer uh, the effects of heat a oh, lot quicker. Oh, we've seen quicker. sunstroke already. We have seen sunstroke already. And it looks like the judges and coach, or the archers agents downrange are having a little bit of a disagreement. I'm not really sure what was going on there, but the Chinese Taipei coach kind of looked puzzled with a call. And we're gonna have to see what happens here. As far as we can tell, it's tied at one set point apiece. Target judges, by the way, are, <clears throat> excuse me, Mike Cullenber and Katie Lipscomb. And the line judge for this match is the Dane Fleming Skilborg. And so a little bit of a hold up in action right now. Should take a look at some of the beautiful sights. Nearby, just a just few feet away from our position here. We and could be broadcasting from the uh, water, we would be. <laughs> I think a lot of archers would love to be a little bit closer to the water because after their victory, they could just Jump flop in. into the, the Mediterranean. But I do know that the ground is very hot. That beach is covered in rocks and pebbles. They're smooth. Smooth pebbles, but they get but hot, very, very hot. All the more reason to get into the Mediterranean Sea. Well, nothing changes on the scoreboard. We're tied at 35 after that first set. So they split the set points, and actually we're tied one all in the match. As Italy shoots first again. Sartori, who made it to the bronze medal match individually in Medellin. She's been having a good couple of World Cups this, uh, this past, past month, I should say, because it's, it's been a very, very condensed season for all of us. And she's been able to keep her head in the game and keep her shooting level really high. Same with Tanya Ting. I don't, I don't know how she does it, but she's very, very good at what she does. Tanya Ting with another 10. There's a little bit of a longer hold for Mr. Wei, and I think I can see why the coach of the Chinese Taipei team was looking a little confused. There was an arrow at about one o'clock on the 9-8 line, and there might have been an unfavorable call on that shot. And yeah, it looks like from their first score, from the first end, or the set, sorry, was eight, nine, 10, eight. So I think the coach thought that one of those eights should have been a nine, but they didn't get it which led to the tied score. After the 10 by Nespoli. Go, go, go. Shot that drifts go. a little bit lower into the eight ring. And Chinese Taipei with an uh, opportunity right now. Two nines will take the set. Well. Hey. Okay. one of them. One. Now Wei Chun Heng. It's interesting, he's got a yellow bow and I heard you mentioning this morning that the Korean men were all shooting yellow bows and maybe he's following suit. Okay. It works. A nine, that's all he needed and that's the set going to Chinese Taipei. Now three to one in favor of Chinese Taipei. Italy needs to win this next set. If they tie it, they'll still be in it, but to win it would actually keep them a little bit more alive than just tying. If Chinese Taipei wins this next set, then they will win this match. And I'm really sure that the archers would love to get out of the sun. As quickly as possible. As quickly as possible, so Chinese Taipei will be looking to do that because it is very hot out there. I'm glad that they're drinking lots of water, but I'm sure Italy would love to keep things rolling and make sure that they draw this match out so that they can win it. They need to win the next two sets in order to win. Recapping what's happened so far this season on the World Cup Tour in Shanghai at stage one, it was India knocking off Korea five to four in a shoot off. Then in Medellin at stage two, it was Taipei taking the measure of Brazil. A year ago here in Antalya, it was Japan defeating Chinese Taipei. So. The two from Taipei, trying to make amends for what happened last year here on Coney Alti Beach. And right now, Tanya Ting and Wei Chun Heng with a 3-1 advantage. Fleming Skilborg, 
Signaling the go-ahead for these two teams, Mauro Nespoli, 28 years old, ranked 10th in the world. Team silver medalist at the World Championships in Copenhagen last year. Also Olympic gold medalist exactly. in Exactly. On the team in London that defeated the United States for the gold medal. And another 10 for Mauro Nespoli. And he's had a reputation Bravo. amongst uh, the men recurve on the field of play as having one of the oh, highest bow poundages out there. At one point, he was pulling 60 pounds mm. back on the bow. And I know for men, usually no. the men no, are shooting that. about oh, in the order of 50 pounds. But for him to have an extra 10 pound, adva 10 pound advantage over all the men was just astounding for some of us. And we were wondering how he got his equipment to tune, but he made it work. I believe right now he's actually lowered the poundage just a bit. I think he's lowered it to 55 or something. Okay, okay. But <laughs> it's, it's truly, you have to stay fit. Oh, wow. Very, very fit to be able to do that and handle that weight. How long can you hold at 60 pounds? You shouldn't hold very long. No, I would not <laughs> think so. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not sure I could okay, get okay, 60 okay. pounds drawn back. I don't think I could pick up a 60 pound dumbbell <laughs> and hold it still. And Italy has a one point lead, 19 to 18, halfway through this set. Good look at Moro Nespoli, who picked up a mixed team silver medal here in Antalya back in 2012, four years ago. Hey. First one that got away from him. And looking at the flags down range, you do see that they are quartering off to the right. It's kind of a tailwind plus right wind. That could be accounting for the right arrows that we're seeing from Team Italy. That's another right arrow. So the majority of their group, I think they've only got one or two arrows that are on the left side of the midline of the target. So they are vulnerable right now. And Chinese Taipei just needs two nines again to win. And Tanya Ting is just saying, no, two nines aren't, uh, nah, that's not good enough. Let's make it an eight. <laughs> let's make it easy for Wei Chung Hing. Wei Chung Hing with the chance to put it away, needing just eight. Well, okay, there it is. Caught the 10 line. Nine or 10, it doesn't even matter because they win and uh, bronze medal goes to Chinese Taipei. And they have really, really become a major factor in mixed team competition so far this summer. That's back-to-back -back bronze medals at Medellin and here in Antalya. That's really good shooting from both of them, showing that they've got power in both their men and their women's categories. So it, not to discount Italy, Italy's been shooting very, very well, especially Nespoli and Sartori. And it's just unfortunate that they weren't able to take this one from Chinese Taipei, but uh, Chinese Taipei has had a little bit more experience on the field of play in these matches, so congrats to them and uh, well-deserved bronze. Difference in that third set, pair of eights for Italy. Meanwhile, Chinese Taipei with the 10 and three nines. So they outscore Chinese Taipei 37-35 in that third set, win that set, win the match, five to one. The bronze medal going to Chinese Taipei.